in today's message, I'm talking about how women generally have a bad attitude. You want to see a woman get a bad attitude? Be a man that has standards and sticks by those standards and let those standards not benefit her as a woman. You going to deal with a you about to deal with a doggone serpent. Some demons is about to be manifested. Let's talk about it. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Closer to God Ministries, where we push forward in the kingdom of the Most High Yah. Closer to God Ministries is for those who really want to learn true submission, true obedience, reverence, and a fear of the Most High Yah. One thing about Closer to God Ministries is I'm not afraid to push the envelope. There's a lot of things that go on in the world that need to be addressed, but religious leaders won't talk about it. Closer to God Ministries, I'm pushing forward. Each man must be convinced in his own mind. I'm going to give you the disclaimer. This is not for everybody. If you're somebody that has a soft spirit, a sensitive spirit, you don't like that hard truth that can set you free, this is not for you. But if you choose to stay tuned, don't just run off on the plug with my content. Hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, turn your notifications on so you can see when I'm posting new content. And then if you really want to support the channel, check out the doggone link in the description for some exclusive discount codes. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Glory to the most high, Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spirit-filled episode. Today, I'm back at it in them trenches, handling that kingdom business. Man, first off, you know, the ears of the people are open to a woman. I will say that. But the ears of the people are shut off to a man. Man, a woman can have all of these preferences, standards, for a man and, and, and a lot of them preferences and standards is not what Abba Yah told you to look for. But people will support the wants, desires, what I deserve, I'm entitled to, I'm not going to settle. They'll support that all day long. All day long. Especially when it comes from a single mother. Especially. And you can see how men get shamed for having standards. You know, I pretty much saw this woman, these women group up on this man and shame him because he said he wouldn't date a single mother. They, they played fast and loose and tag team this man and says, weren't you raised by a single mother? This man said, just because I was raised by one, doesn't mean that that was how it was supposed to be. He said, I want to break the cycle by not being a man entertaining a single mother. Like I saw my mother entertain men that didn't want nothing to do with her, really. And I said, man, woo. I said, the ears of the people is really open to this nonsense. But let you, let you stand by this as a man. I will have that the younger women marry, bear children, and guide the house. Wrestle with that one. Wrestle with that one, wicked women. Because they will fight you up and down, shame you, make you feel like you're less than because you're sticking by standards that's pleasing to Abba Yah. When you think about this, man, a woman can have a standard. A man has to make this much. You know, he got to have this, this size house. He got to be this tall. He can't be fat. A woman will shut you down, not give you the time of day just because you're short. You might be the most commandment keeping, Y'all fearing man out there. Just because of your height, shut down. And she not finna entertain anything about you saying, well, what about these qualities? What about these attributes? Shut you down. But let a man say, I don't want no fat woman. Let a man say that. I don't want no fat woman. Now, all of a sudden, he's fat shaming. Now, all of a sudden, you got to hear a body positivity lecture. You see how a lot of this nonsense comes from the other side? You know, a man's height, he can't do nothing about. But laying down, having all these babies, 
by men that is not what Abba Yah wanted you to have, you can do something about that, closing them legs. But I told you, if you want to see a woman get angry, say something that comes out of that book and stand by it. Watch them get mad. Well, I can't, I can't go with you today because I'm keeping, you know, today is the Sabbath. I'm not running out here with you today. Watch that anger get kindled in them. Watch that attitude change and shift. You know, say, I don't want to, I don't want to, uh, uh, be with you because I know in the end, you know, I know what them kids is going to end up saying to me. They can up, they going to end up telling me and they know that no matter how good of a father I am to them, you know, when you stand by that, you will get shamed as a man. I'm telling you, if you choose that, that's your choice. That's your prerogative, but you will deal with demons manifesting in women when you stick by a standard as a man that doesn't benefit them. You know, as a man, you can say, well, I don't believe as a woman, the world will support a woman saying, no, we don't need to share bank accounts. This the same woman that says, I got my own money. I'm independent. I don't need no man. But then when the man says, I don't believe in sharing bank accounts because my experience tells me that's not a wise move and a wicked woman or a lazy woman is going to rather spend my money than hers. And then when all my money's wiped out on to the next, the world will support the woman's stance, but won't support the man's. I tell you, man, your greatest stance, your greatest position that I encourage you as men of Abba Yah, men of the Most High Yah, men as commandment keepers that fear Elohim is to stand by his word. There's no need to move from that. You're going to be able to see who is who based upon standing for truth. You're going to be able to see demons manifest that you would have never seen without understanding the wisdom and the word of the Most High Yah. Don't let no woman shame you because you have standards that protect you, that help you prosper, that help you have sound mind and stay focused on the goal at hand, which is keeping those commandments. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter, to fear Elohim and to keep his commandments, which is the whole duty of man. Don't let no woman with three, four kids by multiple men, a couple men shame you because you out there patiently trying to discern who is who and saying, you know what? I'm gonna be patient and I'm gonna wait because they're gonna make you say, no, you need to take me. I'm right here. And you have to say, no, I'm good on that. I am good on that. If that's your choice, don't let nobody box you into their delusion. I don't care how mad they get, how angry they get, how pissed off, don't do it. You give them some room into your life and they find out that you got a standard that don't benefit them, they not with it. Close to the God Ministries kicking it gun barrel straight. Bow.